First down, and it's number 20, Joel Coles at fullback. Following a five-yard penalty against Nebraska, too many men on the field. Penn State was punting, and instead of giving up the ball, it's first down, Penn State. That goes with a long count. Warner is inside for Nebraska 30. Penn State have decided they're going to come out and test Nebraska's defense, and so far they've moved the ball on the ground very, very well. Let's take a look. It's just a simple pitch sweep. There's John Fowle, the All-American guard, making the key block. Penn takes it to the outside, tries to cut back, but pulled down by a host of red shirt. into the wind. Excellent kick into the wind. This is Steele's, their wing back. And a good, he's at the 30. The 40. Out close to midfield at a mumble. Penn State has it, I believe. And Penn right? State has the ball at midfield. Well, that's a surprise. Here comes Warner. One good block. Five. Drives for almost 14 yards. At the 10. And down at the 2. This is Robinson. Penn State 35, 40. And gets a good run back. Short kick. I think it was an onside kick. Oh, right? yes. It's a definite attempt at an onside kick. And I think they got it. I, I definitely think they were surprised the Penn State people. Well, the officials now agree with the Nebraska players that Nebraska has the football. So now the pressure shifts to the Penn State defense. Fumble. Penn State has this one. I, so I, that's two fumbles now by Craig. He, that's his, I believe it's his third. First down run for Kurt Warner. Rakowski the holder. It's good. Is it good? It, might, it, it is, is good. good. Franco's two for two. Well, he hasn't missed one in two years, and that's a big play. They got some points out of that. Penn State. Penn State's number 41 is on the ball. Steve Sefter. Well, Ray, this is the uh, fourth turnover, I believe. Now that Penn State has been fortunate enough to, to, to recover, and uh, they still only got six points. Now, they cannot keep blowing these opportunities. But I think something short underneath is uh, would be have much better chance of, of being completed. Another one. Brian Franco hits another one. So Penn State's Brian Franco is three for three today. This is Warner. Ray, did he get a gigantic hole that time? Three and a half, and Penn State leading by two. Fumble. And the basket. That's the second. Maurer has the ball yet. Was it caught before it hit the turf? 
They say yes, number. Good. It is good, and number 22 left in the first half. And Penn State has yet to complete a forward pass. This is Mike Mead getting about eight yards. On. This is a third and three. Warner, first down, and a lot more. The ball is at the Penn State 41. There's a screen. There's a screen to Warner. And Warner is all the way down to the Nebraska 33 yard line. Been tough run. Here he goes again. They're going for all the marbles. Jackson. Touchdown. Now that will pick you up. Now isn't it amazing how a boy could complete one little pass, then come back and lay it out there? It had to be a perfect pass, Ray. Let's hope we got this on a replay. It's a double coverage on Jackson. It had to be perfectly executed. He put it nice and high. Jackson to the right. Coles in motion. Made it. And they got the two points to Coles, the man in motion. So Penn State's lead is seven. Grant Campbell, Jackson 82, and Williams. Campbell. And Nebraska has it. Well, that's exactly what they want them to 10, Penn State. First and goal, Nebraska at the Penn State nine-yard line, following a Penn State fumble of a punt. There's Craig in motion. There's Warner. Warner. There's Warner. But Franco's four for four, and Penn State has a three-point lead. That was a second down, five. That's exactly what they're doing. At the Nebraska 30, great, great coverage for Penn State. Third down, and a bust about three yards to go for a first down at the Nebraska 33-yard line. They move the tight end Williams over to the right side. There's a big play to the defense. Giuseppe Harris was there. The there fake is to Warner. Wide open. Wide open. Wide open. Mike McCluskey. Coles is into the end zone. So Penn State regains the lead. 26 to 24. I do not believe I've ever seen an offensive line as work as hard as Penn State has today. Fourth down, punt formation time for Grant Campbell with the following win. Oh! There goes a fullback again, but nowhere to go this time. Well, that time Ashley stayed at home, which he's supposed to do. Now they out of bounds. Let's see if they don't fake this. It's they missed can't. it. Well, he missed it way to the left. Well, that was a great series on defense defense. Meade is the fullback. Here's Warner. He brought him back into the game. First down. And maybe a lot more. There he goes. Kurt Warner. Oh, Almost went all the way. I know you don't want to put the ball in here, but you can't play too cautious. Uh, something short or... The quarterback is, you know, he's well coached, and the receiver's covered to throw it out of bounds, and you still can come back for your, for your field goal. Did he do it again? Yep. 
Kukowski is the holder. Franco hits another one, but the lead is only six. Well, but still. Craig in motion. Maurer going to the air right away. A lot of time. There it is. Keep the ball, son. Giuseppe has. That is it. They were looking for it. Alert defense. That's the type of football player they expect Giuseppe Harris to... Uh, and that's the football game. That's the football game. Another big win for Joe Paterno's Penn State Mutiny Lions. And believe me, knowing Joe, this is a very tasty win. He doesn't like to get beat like Nebraska has uh, done to Penn State the last two years. The end of the game and the final score. Penn State, 30. Nebraska, 24.